Whoa. Oh, that scared me. <laughs> wow, we got something going on here. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And today we're going to take a look at this Bell TV receiver. Bell TV is a uh, satellite-based direct-to-home service, similar to Dish Network. And actually, Bell uses the same equipment that Dish Network uses, this EchoStar receivers. Uh, this is a 6131 model. I think that's a unique model number to Bell. Uh, it does have a slot for a card, but there is no card in there. These receivers actually have, from the factory, an internal card or chip, uh, which this one is still running on. There's no card. So we're going to hook this up. It has not been hooked up in several years. It was given to me by a neighbor who switched to a different service. And uh, yeah, we'll see what this does. I do have a dish right now pointed to Bell's satellite. We're going to connect this receiver to that satellite dish and we're going to power it up and we're going to see what happens. We're going to see, can we get any channels with a decommissioned receiver that hasn't been used in several years? So let's, uh, let's see what we get. Stick around guys. Okay. So looking at the bottom of the unit, it does have a sticker on here saying it has a smart chip number. So there is an internal smart card. Um, I think the idea why they went internal was because to help with piracy at one time, there was a lot of problems. Um, and the card slot was there in case the internal security or chip got compromised, they could upgrade the security by putting a card in there, sending it out to their customers. So this one does not have a card. Have they upgraded the security? I'm not sure since this receiver was last used. But we're going to hook it up right now, and uh, we're going to see what it does. Okay. Okay, so I got the satellite connected to it, and I got the HDMI. I got it just sitting right there on top of the spectrum analyzer. The cord is not plugged in yet. The TV is showing no signal. So we're going to go down here, and we're going to plug that in. And voila, we have a light. Let's see if we get anything up there, not yet. Okay, the light went off. Oh, something's going on. Still nothing. Okay, there we go. Look at that. It is acquiring the satellite signal. Okay, it's finished that and it's now downloading the program guide. Okay, well that a lot uh, quicker than the Dish Network receiver, which actually wanted to upgrade its firmware. So we'll see what we get. This will be, uh, I'm wondering, will we get any channels? Let's see. Anyways, I have put some batteries in this remote. I think I did. Let me check. Yep. Oh, I saw that button. Oh, your smart card does not have authorization. Well, really, let me try pushing the guide button. Oh, hold on. Cancel that. Naked and afraid. I'm pushing the button on the remote and nothing is happening. 
Wow. What on earth happened? <clears throat> no signal. Come on. Looks like it's rebooting again. Just went off. Come on, I wanted to watch Naked and Afraid. I wonder what it's doing. Why did it turn on? It's probably uh, wants to do a software update like the other one. Okay, here it's coming back. Seems to just reboot itself here. Okay, I'll just, I'm gonna stop it and I'll come back when it's ready. Okay, we're back to this again. Let's see what happens if I push guide. There's naked and afraid. Okay. Nothing's happening. I'm pushing the button though. Wow, it's got all these channels. Hmm. Okay. Again, it's rebooting. This receiver, uh... It's behaving really oddly. I think it's got bad capacitors in it. Uh, these receivers were notorious for uh, bad capacitors and rebooting like this and acting really slow, yeah. Um, she's a sick receiver. Yeah, so bad power supply capacitors in this unit, most likely. However, I've got another one. Let's try the other one I got. Okay guys, so I took her apart and sure enough, I found two pregnant capacitors. Both of them were the same uh, 820 microfarad. Uh, that one is a new one I just put in and I just kind of did it on the top of the board so I don't have to take the whole damn thing apart. And this one over here, this 820 as well, uh, this is part of the tuner circuit. And, uh, yeah, that's probably part of its power supply. So that one was pregnant, and the one over here, I don't see any other bulging caps. So I'm going to go, I'm going to leave it like this, and we're going to try it again. Okay, guys, let's see what happens now. Okay, guys, so I got it hooked back up. The only thing is the power, and we're going to plug that in right now, like that, and, uh... Oh, that's better. Got the green light right away. Remember before, it took a little bit of time to come on. So that's already looking good. And uh, nothing on the screen yet. As it boots up. I'm still waiting for a video. Oh, it went off. <coughs> Yeah, so with capacitors, if they're already bad or going bad, and then you don't use the equipment for a very long time, the capacitors uh, have an electrolytic uh, chemical inside them, which when it's not energized, it actually will get worse over time. And uh, yeah, so however, when you do use or leave you know, uh, bad capacitors for a while. Sometimes they reform and they actually start to work again. Anyways, it's much better. Uh, I can already see this is responding much quicker and better. Well, you've even got that blue light on the side. I did not see that before. Now, 
Let's see. Oh, there we go. Oh yeah, it's, it's actually behaving quicker. It was really slow before. Oh yeah, look at that. It's just every, everything is running faster. It's like twice the speed now. So that is looking very positive that we have a much better uh, response out of it. Definitely was power, bad capacitors, so I'm pretty confident now. <clears throat> well, we shall see. Can we get naked and afraid? <laughs> Whoa, well, that scared me. <laughs> wow, we got something going on here. Hey, this is great. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me uh, turn down that music. I don't want to get copyright strike or something. Okay, so we actually got something here in French, it looks like. Let me hit the guide button. on which button oh there we go free previews whoa we got some channels Does it work nothing black ppv oh got something there Oh, we got a channel. Well, that's cool. Mysteries of the Abandoned. Hey, that one's coming in too. We actually got some channels here. Homes and Gardens. What is this? One ninety nine couples. So we're actually getting some free channels. They are in French. History, greatest mystery. So let's see something here. We are getting homes and gardens. What is this? I C I M. Now I noticed when it started up, it said something. We have some free channels. Okay, free channels. Free previews, ah. Oh. Okay, so there's VIE, the Max, Homes and Gardens, History, T and E, and what is that, Fictious? are free this month so there you go guys if you get an old bell receiver working you can actually get these six channels for free history and homes and gardens those are actually good channels um that's interesting so they have free previews and you can actually watch them if you have a bell receiver so let's see that again. What channels are we getting? We're getting History, this T&E, Mysteries of the Abandoned. It's a CTV channel. That's a network channel. <clears throat> so we're getting a few channels there. And then, of course, the channels repeat themselves. Those are uh, in HD. So we're getting History in HD. For a whole month for free nhd and if i go over here homes and gardens also in hd free for the entire month and we go over here i'm not sure what this is i see
some crazy movie. And then there's the fireplace. That's always free, actually. And this is a French channel. This channel is no longer available. Oh, wow. Too bad. That's off air, off air, off air. <clears throat> so there you go, guys. You're getting uh, history and homes and gardens for free this month if you got an old decommissioned bell receiver that you can uh, just hook out. And it just starts working. Pretty cool. See if we can get uh, where to go. Free. Let's go to the HD channels. See, there it is there. So history is free and homes and gardens. Wow. Yeah, wow. He just said wow. He's like, he's really excited too that we're getting this for free. Okay, guys. Hope you enjoy that one. <laughs>